This is a story about having someone's back. Matt Zeller is a U.S. war veteran, and Janice Shinwari was his translator. In Afghanistan, they saved each other's lives. There was two more Taliban that they were trying to kill him. And I run to Matt and I shot those two Taliban. If he hadn't been there, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. This heroic act formed a brotherhood. When it was time for Matt to return to the States, he promised Janice he'd return the favor by bringing him back too. If he didn't, he'd be dead. Hands down. The Taliban would have found him at this point and killed him. Janice Shimori is just one Afghan translator who made the trip back from Afghanistan to the United States, but they're not all so lucky. That's why Matt Zeller started the organization No One Left Behind. We created it really simple to honor our nation's promise to the Iraqi and Afghan men and women who served our nation while at war as translators. Former soldiers feel that these translators are just as important to the cause as anyone else. You know, some of these interpreters have done more for America than many Americans. The Taliban consider translators traitors and threaten to kill them and their families in Afghanistan. But escaping the violence isn't the only advantage of moving to the United States. I know that my children will have a, will have a bright future and they can go to the school, they can go to the college, but in Afghanistan, you know, the situation is not good. Nobody can let their kids go out. Matt and Janice will meet with members of Congress this week to discuss potential ways to speed up the visa process. Mike Lucas, WEBN.